and Sunday night in most parts of the country has left more questions than answers as to who is to blame for the now too common problem where those in charge are seemingly unable to do the job. As the Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir was at pains to explain the cause of the blackout, his transport and roads counterpart Kipchumba Murkomen laid the blame squarely on saboteurs and unnamed individuals involved in cover-ups for the outage experienced for the better part of Sunday evening at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport again. So, are President William Ruto's men equal to the task? KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel Tor interrogates. It is the third power outage in a span of three months. And yet again, just like the last two, the government was struggling to explain why. And it's a challenge that, as a country, we are really ashamed of and we need to address it. But we don't know, we do know what the problem is. The blackout which affected key infrastructures yet again covered the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport where the backup generators failed to power up. The country has experienced three power outages on 25th of August 2023, 11th November and the 10th of December. During the period outages lasted hours. Back then the CS for Energy Davis Chichir who faced the energy committees of both houses of parliament separately said they were working to resolve the matter once and for all. This is why we did say give us some days for the engineers to conclusively confirm was the signal from this plant, reporting to that plant that switch yourself off because you are in danger, or did it automatically switch itself because there was an internal fault, and therefore we need to un understand and use these data logs to confirm the sequencing of events. His counterpart, Transport CS Kipchumba Murkumen, also had several heads roll at the JKIA, firing the Kenya Airport Authority Managing Director Alex Gitare, among other senior officers, after the airport was also engulfed in darkness. It is possible to make changes in a more cultured manner. So I want to thank you, Fred, and uh, uh, Alex, for the uh, sacrifice you're making to our country. Uh, we are not judging you, we are not punishing you. We are just creating an opportunity for others to also try and see whether they can turn around the situation at the Kenya Airports Authority. Three months on, the CS now blames the outage on sabotage and cover-ups as yet again issued an apology for the blackout at one of the region's busiest international airports, calling for the National Police Service to investigate the matter. And as they put up a united front Monday to shed light on Sunday's darkness, the following faces carry the responsibility for the national blackout witnessed Sunday. The CS for Energy Davis Churchill, his PS Alex Oshira, the Kenya Power Managing Director Joseph Siror, the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority Daniel Kipto, the Kenya Power and Lighting Company Chairperson Brenda Masinde, and the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company Limited, MD John Mativo. In the transport sector, CS Kipchumba Murukumen leads the pack with explanations for the darkness witnessed at the JKIA. His PS Mohamed Dahar and the Kenya Airport Authority Chairperson Caleb Kositany. <laughs> but perhaps the two CSs who are recently bored in separate events specifically bear the greatest responsibility to ensure the shame of darkness witnessed previously is not repeated. Emmanuel Tor, KT News, Nairobi. Well, away from that, 